Hi, it's Ben here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you all the steps and stages that you'll need to teach your gymnast how to swing on the P-bars. So the first thing we need to do with our gymnast is get them to be able to do a support hold on the P-bars. So TJ is gonna be our demonstrator today, so he's gonna be going through the exercises. So over here, TJ is gonna show you what a support should look like. They should be able to have a tall neck, shoulders back, toes pointed, and a completely straight body. So if the gymnast can understand this shape and hold this for a good 10 seconds, then we're ready to start moving on to the next exercises for their swings. So an exercise that I find really useful to help the gymnast understand what shape they should be in is to teach them all three shapes, which would be a dish, a straight, and an arch shape. So TJ is gonna go through the shapes for us now. So he's gonna start off by doing a dish shape. So he understands when we ask him to do a dish, which come with certain skills, he knows what that shape should look like. A straight body shape, so he's nice and tall, he's in a completely straight body, and an arch shape. So on here, if the gymnast understands how to do a dish, a straight, and an arch, they're gonna be more likely to understand what shapes you're asking from them when we start doing our swings. So once the gymnast can hold a static support in different shapes and so understand a straight body, an arch, and a dish, the next thing I would do is start to build up their strength in support and their confidence as well. So an exercise is really good to do is walking across the P-bars in a support. So TJ is gonna show us now. His head should be lifted looking forwards, body should be nice and straight, and he's gonna walk with straight arms all the way along the P-bars. So as you can see, his body is tight, arms are straight, and his head is still the whole time. And once the gymnast is confident doing this, they can also try and do this going backwards as well. This really helps the gymnast build their confidence on the P-bars and build their strength at the same time. So now we know that the gymnast is confident traveling forwards and backwards. They're strong enough to hold their body shape tight, keeping their arms straight. We're gonna start showing them the exercises that they're gonna be doing and the shapes they need to be in when they do their swings. So what we're gonna do now is start showing you the shapes or showing the gymnasts the shapes for the front and the back support, which is the shape they're gonna swing into. So they're gonna climb up onto the P-bars to start with. You wanna tell the gymnast to be looking forwards. Their hips should be completely straight so the whole body is straight, nice and open. And you can see there he's got straight arms, his shoulders are in line with his hands and his legs are completely straight. Body is nice and straight and he's in a really strong support shape there. Perfect. Once the gymnast is confident in this shape, they can come down and then we can do exactly the same thing in a back support now. So they can climb on, their legs should be straight, shoulders pulled backwards, their chin should be lifted off their chest and they're in a nice straight shape again there. So again, once the gymnast is confident showing these shapes, we're ready to start trying to do our swings now. So now it's time to support the gymnast for their swings on the P-bars. So Dex is going to show us today with TJ the supporting on the P-bars. So the gymnast is going to start in a completely straight support with open hips. So he's going to have a slight arch shape. Chin off his chest, looking forwards. Declan's going to hold his hips. The gymnast is going to try and just stay as straight as possible. The coach is just going to guide them and support them. So as you can see here, the gymnast not changing their body shape, just staying completely straight, and the coach is supporting their hips, making sure that their shoulders stay on top of their hands. So if their shoulders were to fall backwards, so Deck will show you now, or push him back, the gymnast is gonna fall off. So if the shoulders go forwards, then the gymnast would fall forwards. So what we're trying to do now is just get the gymnast used to keeping their shoulders on top of their hands and not moving their body shape. So we're gonna show you one now with TJ where if he kicks his legs forwards and backwards, what it would look like. So if you're kicking his legs, doing bad ones, TJ, kick your feet up. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. This isn't what we want to do, okay? So come down. So this exercise, all we're trying to do with the gymnast is get them to understand holding a tight body shape, keeping their head still and not putting their chin on their chest. So once you've done it with the gymnast with support, it's time to let them have a go on their own. So again, with this, you're just keeping the gymnast low. You don't want to tell them to swing really high. The most important thing is the gymnast looks forwards. If they throw their head down, they are going to fall through the bars, which can be quite dangerous. So when they first start, I'd always suggest having a block underneath and making sure that you're always near the gymnast so you can check their shapes. So TJ is going to show us now. So he's going to start in a nice support. He stays completely straight. And to start the swing, he pushes his hips forwards and presses backwards. There we go. So he's 
body's completely straight and he's keeping his nice shape there. So he's in a nice arch shape, keeping his feet at the back, hips at the front. Perfect. So something that's very important when teaching swings on P-bars is letting the gymnasts understand how to exit the bar safely. So you need to make sure that the gymnasts, when they're swinging, understand that they have to get off at the back and not swing forwards at the front as this can hurt their chest. So TJ is going to show you an exercise that we can do with the gymnast to start with, which is where you just jump up to support and then you push backwards and land on the back of the bar. So once the gymnast starts to understand how to jump up and jump back down again nice and safely, we can then do this from a swing. So TJ is going to show you a small little swing. So he's going to swing and then just push backwards at the back and land nicely in support there. So we'll show you one more time. So he's going to jump up to support, do a few swings and then drop off at the back. So as you can see, it's a nice controlled landing and that's what we want to try and get the gymnast in the habit of doing. So now the gymnast is confident swinging underneath the bars, it's time to start getting them doing swings into front and back support. So we'll do this first of all with support. What we're going to do is get the gymnast to start in their nice front support shape like we were doing before. Uh, sorry, their normal support shape. So they're going to start here. You want to get the gymnast in the habit of always starting with open hips, straight body, and swinging without kicking their legs. So we're going to do this here. So you can do three swings and then try and land in front support onto the bars. So Dex going to hold him now and land him on the bars. So there, if you just move your shoulders back a little bit, TJ. So when he lands on the P-bars, he wants his shoulders in line with his hands, legs straight, head up, and a nice straight body. So when the gymnast is confident of doing this, you can add multiple in a row. So for now, come down. So to start with, when you're getting used to them landing in the correct shape, you want them to jump down. When you know that the gymnast is ready to move on, you can start adding multiple in a row, which Dex is going to show you now with TJ. So he can start off again in his perfect support. He starts with his body still. So he's swinging using just his arms. And then on number three, he lands onto the bars. And then you can then move straight back into the swings again. Good, so just shoulders back a little bit, TJ. Perfect. So some things that you want to try and watch for is when the gymnast is swinging, can you uh, go to front support, TJ? When they first start doing this, the gymnasts will tend to lean their shoulders quite far forwards, which then means when they go into their swing, they're going to then be piked and they're more likely to fall backwards. So you want to try and make sure that their shoulders stay nice and straight in line with their hands, ready to move, do their swing, coming back through for the forward swing. Right, so now that the gymnast is confident swinging underneath the bars, it is time to get them swinging into a front support on the P-bars. So to start with, TJ is going to get into a normal support on the P-bars with a nice straight body, head up and hips open. So once the gymnast is confident doing swings into a front support, it's time to start introducing the swings into a back support. So we're going to show you that now. So it'll be the same process that we used before. So we'll swing, land in a back support. Once the gymnast is confident, we can then add multiple in a row. So we'll do three swings, landing in a really nice back support, chin off his chest. Now the thing that you want to watch out for here is when the gymnasts join their legs and start swinging, their tendency is to put their head down, which will then make them fall. So you need to make sure that you make a really important part of looking forwards with the gymnast. Really good, well done. So we've done it with the gymnast now where they've done it into front support and they've done it into back support. It's time to join both together. So Declan and TJ are going to show you now how that will look. So he's going to start in his normal shape every single time, head still, body still and swinging, keeping his hips open, landing in front support and then he's going to try and swing straight into his back support and then the same again. So as you can see here, Dex got his chest and he swaps his hands underneath onto his back. So this is going to keep the gymnasts nice and safe and stop them from falling in between the P-bars. Perfect. So when the gymnast first starts doing this, you might want to put some pads on the P-bars. This will make the gymnast a little bit more confident to land on top of the P-bars, as otherwise it can be a little bit hard on their feet. What I'm going to do now is with Declan show you some different supports which you can do with the gymnast which you might find more comfortable when you're learning this. 
So the first support, which is a great one when they first start going, because you can hold them and really help guide their hips in the right position, is hands on their front and their back. So Dex is gonna show you this now. So his hands go on his front and on the back. You're gonna be able to help push them forwards and backwards with your hands. And then when you go at the back, you can catch their legs and keep your hand on their chest. And then you swap over, hand on their back, hand on their legs. So now that the gymnast is confident doing their swings with their hips, it's time to start supporting them a bit less. So you can do this by holding just their arm now and letting them guide their swings. So the deck's gonna show you that now. So as you can see now, his hand's on his shoulder and his arm rather than holding his hips. So the swing's done now more by TJ. So still exactly the same. But all Dex doing now is just making sure that his shoulders stay in the correct position. So now that the gymnast is confident doing this with you shadowing them and only holding one arm, it's time to let them have a go on their own. So we'll build this up exactly the same way that we did before, where the gymnast can practice by just doing one of the supports. So we're gonna start off by getting TJ to do the front support. So he's gonna start in the same position that we always do, hips open to start with, feet slightly back and swing. After he's done a couple of swings, when he feels he's ready, he's gonna drop onto front support. Perfect, and come down. So to start with, we do the same thing again where the gymnast can just build up into doing their front support shape. And then when they're confident, they can then start adding more in together. So here's TJ now showing you how to do multiple back swings to land in front support in a row on his own. So he starts in the same position again, swings. And when he's ready, he'll drop into front support, keeping his head up, not letting his head drop. So what we're trying to look for here is as he swings, his shoulders should be a little bit further back. There we go. And he jumps his legs together and he keeps his hips open. So when he's swinging now, this is quite a common mistake that you're gonna see is when the gymnasts do this and land back into support again. Head up. And here, trying to keep their hips open. So see if TJ can do it on this one. You can jump, hips open. Keep your hips open. So as you swing through your hands, try and keep your hips forwards, feet back. Perfect, so that's what we want to try and work on. So as the gymnasts will start doing this, you'll see that they'll get more confident swinging through with open hips rather than doing that dish shape. So now it's time to introduce the front swing into our back support. So TJ is going to show you this now. So do the same thing again. He'll just start off by doing a swing into a back support and doing it once to start with. And back support, keeping his chin up, hips open, and then he'll just climb down. And then once they're confident, it is then time to try and add multiple in a row. So TJ is going to show you this now. So we'll start off swinging, and when the gymnast is confident, they'll put their feet on top of the bars, and then they're swinging again. So on this one, you're really trying to make sure that the gymnast keeps their head still as they're doing this. This is the bit, the bit that you're looking for. Perfect. So now that we know that the gymnast is confident swinging to a front support and swinging to a back support individually, it's time to put both together again. So TJ is going to show us that now. So he's going to try and swing, and then he'll land in a front support, and then he'll land in a back support. So he's going to swing, keeping his shoulders back, hips open, TJ, and jump, hips forwards. Perfect. And then you can try and swing again. Great. And come down. So this is a great way for you to build up the gymnast shaping and making sure that they're swinging at a good height the whole time with them stopping without you being able to support it. This is a great way for the gymnast to build up their shaping exercises, teaching them to build their confidence and for you to be able to watch from afar or support another gymnast at the same time because they can start to do this on their own. So with this, you wanna make sure there's lots of blocks, mats and padding around 
and this way the gymnasts can build their confidence and start building independence on the p-bars. So an exercise that we can use to help the gymnasts understand how to swing through support with open hips is by using an elastic. So this is another good exercise that you can do with the gymnasts where they can practice this on their own. So TJ is going to show us this now. So if you put an elastic nice and tight on the p-bars, they start with their open hips and TJ is going to show you how to swing pushing his hips forwards, nice and low, TJ, just swinging his hips forwards. So this way here, you can get the gymnast to start practice confidently swinging with open hips, with their head in the right position, their body shape in the right shape. So the key thing that you wanna make sure that the gymnast isn't doing as they swing forwards is dishing in through their hands. So if you imagine that there's a straight line here, as they cross this straight line, their hips should lead, not their feet. So TJ, I'll show you what a bad one would look like. So the, this is where we went through the dish shape earlier. So look forwards, TJ, still. So if he swings and he does this shape here, he's more likely to fall backwards and be off balance when he does his front swing. So we need to make sure that he's got his hips open like this as he swings through this middle position rather than being in the pike shape like this, because then he's going to fall backwards. So after going through these progressions, your gymnast swing should look something like this.